afternoon, Linda and Rarush. I'm Beverly D. from Houston, Texas, and I want to thank you and acknowledge you for all the education that I've received from your websites and from your pamphlets. And, uh, and I just want to acknowledge you for what you're bringing to us as far as information and truth. So my question is, what do you want us to do? What actions do you, could we take to further this mission? Give us a new presidency who's human in intention as well as in biology. Hmm? And someone who has understanding and create, a, create in our political system, create a system which is thinking about the kinds of things I've been t- responding to here today. We, the things that we are not doing as a nation, which we should be doing and could be doing. I mean, you know, life, people think of life as, you know, I die, I'm born and die. I don't think that way. I think the importance is we will die, we will all die, even me eventually. <laughs> Those, some enemies will not like that. But the point is we, can, we, can, we should adopt objectives which we make possible as achievements of those who succeed us. We must focus on those things which are most essential for mankind's role in the universe in particular, on behalf of mankind, the development of mankind. We have to live our lives with the intention of when we have died, we will have set into motion for the coming two generations to be born. The kind of mission which they, in turn, can muster themselves to accomplish. We have to think of ourselves as immortal in the sense that our life, the benefit which we contribute with our lifetime, will not die but will continue in the progress of mankind after us. And it's when we can see ourselves as living in a nation which believes in that and acts that way that I can sleep peacefully knowing you're in safe hands.